Autodesk PowerMill 2018 includes a radical new graphical user interface designed to shorten the learning curve for new users whilst continuing to allow existing users to access the commands that they need to program their components. Let's start by taking a look at the ribbon toolbar at the top of the screen. The ribbon organises commands together into logical groups, making it easier for us to discover the commands that we need at any given time. Here we can see a home tab that contains the bulk of the commands that our users will access on a daily basis. Here we have commands for the creation of work planes, blocks, controlling feed speeds as well as creating tools and toolpaths. You can see that the ribbon offers drop down commands with additional options to allow us to access commands that we need. Running across the top of the screen you can see we have tabs that relate to toolpath creation, toolpath editing, the creation and management of tools and tool assemblies, boundaries, patterns, feature sets, feature groups, work planes, models, stock models, machine tools, the ability to run simulations, creation and manipulation of NC programs, as well as an additional toolbar that's specifically considering the viewing of our component. On this occasion, we're going to activate a roughing toolpath on this large mold. If I wish to access settings for this toolpath, I can do this using right mouse key clicks as previous versions of Palmo have provided, settings, and you can see that the settings dialog for this particular toolpath pops up on screen. Equally, if I go to the Toolpath Edit tab inside PowerMill's new ribbon interface, you can see that there is an icon to access the settings directly from here as well. Clicking on the Settings icon results in the Toolpath Settings form appearing on screen. The ribbon has context-sensitive functionality. An example of this can be seen if I choose the Toolpath with my right mouse key and select Simulate from Start. Notice that the ribbon toolbar is updated to jump into the simulation tab, making it easier for me to access those commands. That this dynamic nature of the ribbon extends into certain more advanced commands and workflows. Let's take a look at the dynamic machine control functionality inside PowerMill 2018. I'm going to start by activating a toolpath. I'm going to go into my toolpath editing and select dynamic machine control. Notice how the ribbon has changed. The entire ribbon structure is now updated to provide functions that are specific to the dynamic machine control workflow. When I've accepted the changes that I wish to make to my toolpath and I click the accept button, the ribbon returns back to its original state. PowerMall's ribbon interface offers increased levels of customization. Let's take a look at how we can add our favourite commands to the interface now. Looking in the top left hand corner of the screen, we can see PowerMill offers a quick access toolbar. By default, this provides open, save and create work plane functionality. We can edit this particular area of the interface by selecting this drop down arrow and selecting more commands. A menu now appears. This allows us to customise either the quick access toolbar or the rest of the ribbon. Let's select the quick access toolbar, select the command on which we wish to append additional buttons, and then use this extensive list of features to select the commands we wish to add to the quick access toolbar. Today, I'd like to add some commands that relate to view control. So I navigate to the view area of the interface, select the views menu. Let's say I want to add the isometric commands to the quick access toolbar. I select this option, click add, and note that that menu has been added to this quick access toolbar. When I'm happy, click OK, and note that the quick access toolbar now includes these views. Let's look at how we can customize the main ribbon toolbar. Start by selecting the ribbon with the right mouse key, and selecting Customize the Ribbon. Select Customize Ribbon, followed by New Tab. Select this new tab and select the Edit option. Give the tab a meaningful name 
as well as an optional description. And then click Done. Now, locate the commands you would like to add to your tab. I'm going to add some view controls, the ability to create a new NC program, some simulation commands, such as play, and the ability to access the dynamic machine control. Add commands as you need, and then use the nudge arrows to move your commands up and down in the ordering of your tab. When happy, click OK. Notice a new tab appearing on the very end of the ribbon. Select this tab and note that the commands that we selected previously are now displayed within this particular ribbon interface. To save your customization, right mouse key click on the ribbon interface and select Customize the Ribbon. Now use the Export button to save your ribbon configuration file. To further enhance workflow and usability, Parmel also now includes a backstage area. This is accessed by selecting the File tab in the top left hand side of the screen. Click File and note that we go to a completely new interface. This provides quick and easy access to commands such as Open, Save, Import, Export, as well as a list of recently opened Power Mill projects and CAD models. The backstage area of PowerMill's ribbon also provides quick and easy access to commonly used options, such as configuring the colors of the interface, paths used for shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts, plugins, and a host of other software configuration settings. And this concludes the summary of the ribbon interface in Autodesk PowerMill 2018.